Hey guys, Shira here, and welcome back to another video of Deal Links. Today I want to talk about staples, mostly about which staple is the most annoying to me or to anyone in general. We can list the top 10 and let me know if you agree down in the comments. Now there's a whole bunch of staples out there, and obviously times when specific ones were really popular but not anymore today. But if you weren't there during that time, then that's okay because I'm glad I can explain how annoying it was. Now honestly, I'm just gonna list bells, traps, and hand traps. Extra deck monsters will be for another video. So let's begin. So starting off at number 10 is a card that is actually banned to this day. A spell card that will give huge advantage in OTK decks. That's right. Hey True Nade. Now as you can tell on the screen, this card gets rid of all back rows as long as they're set. So say goodbye to your set cards that could have saved you in that turn. Because True Nade would 100% be played by OTK decks like Black Wings or Tech Genius, Resonators, Onomats, Harpies. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if it was not banned, it would still be dangerous in OTK decks. Next on the list is Wall of Disruption. Yeah, I know, it's an old card. No one really plays it nowadays. But trust me, it's still annoying when you encounter one. Back then, if you had a whole board of monsters and you see that card, I am 100% sure you will get annoyed because back then, we didn't have any back row removal, so you would just have to deal with it. And probably lose after that because your LP is so low. Next on the list is Karma Cut. Remember when a lot of people wanted this card limited? I was probably one of them. And I definitely remember it was being played by Blue Eyes, which was really annoying back then. And yes, moments like for example, you have two Dark Magician in the graveyard and the last one is on the field, and they open Karma Cut and banish that Dark Magician on the field. But wait, it's that last sentence that makes it worse, and you're done. GG's. Next on the list is Drowning Mirror Force. Yes, I know it's another old trap, not popular like Wall of D. But isn't it funny how sometimes there's still those moments when they actually do have a Drowning Mirror Force and you just can't do nothing after that? Congratulations, you're now traumatized and now in your future duel you will start to overthink by a one set that could be Drowning Mirror Force. Next on the list is Enemy Controller. Now this card was really annoying. For one, they can steal your monsters and potentially lethal, or dodge your disruptions and still get good benefit depending on what deck you're playing. Most of the time, they will just join your monster and win for game. Next on the list is Dark Hole. Now I know this card can be mid in some scenarios, but let's say you made your board full of monsters and it just gets destroyed by a single spell card, and now you die. Yeah, it happens sometimes, but at least it's not popular at the moment. But yeah, it can be really annoying, but it's fun when you play it. Am I right or am I wrong? It's like nuking something, like blowing up stuff in Minecraft, right? Anyways, moving on to the next list, Floodgate. I hated this card a lot, because sometimes you just can't do nothing about it, especially if you're playing a synchro deck. Lots of players didn't like the card either. They would say to limit it to one, which is crazy, but yeah, it was really annoying. But now it's barely relevant, which is good, but can still be annoying. Moving on to the next list, Warning Point. This card has its moments. Warning Point can potentially stop a lot of plays and combos by just stopping one monster core card, but it's more effective if the user is going first. Otherwise, it will be kinda bad if you go second and have a board, similar to Flutterguy. Next is Valor. This card can be really annoying. It can potentially stop your opponent from making wombo combos, but it's useless during your turn. But it's still good, don't get me wrong. Definitely better than Ghost Mourner in my opinion. Now for the final spot, there's a lot of honorable mentions, but to me, the one main thing I hate about Duel Links is stall. There's a lot of cards that can stall, but there's one that just pops out of nowhere still being somewhat relevant, and that's Kite Roid. This card can basically dodge two direct attacks. Now imagine they have another one in the hand, an extra two dodge right there. I still find it annoying, and probably the most annoying in my opinion. Obviously a lot of y'all wouldn't agree and would prefer something else like Lancia, but I mean that's just skill issue right? Same thing for me, everyone has their own opinions and problems, and my problem is simply this. Yeah anyways, that's it, short video today but it was fun to make. Let me know what cards annoys you the most. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.